All right, Fusion Impact students, welcome to another great class. We are going to work a little bit on sparring, a little bit on forms, a little bit on everything today. So let's go ahead and get started. And face front, strong bow. All right, I know it seems silly sometimes. I don't know if you're in a hotel room or in your living room or wherever, but saying these words out loud is a very powerful affirmation of who we're trying to become, right? All right, so let's say them together. Academy tennis begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Strong bow. All right, very good. From there, we're going to go ready, say Let's just get 10 jumping jacks nice and smooth. Ready? Go for it. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Feet wide shoulders. Neck rotations. Again, nice, smooth rotations with your head, getting your neck muscles warmed up. Other way. Round and round. Where we stop, nobody knows. All right, we're stopping there. From there, arm circles forward. Good, big circles. Keeping your elbows straight on these is very important. If I bend my elbows, I'm not really getting a shoulder stretch, and that's what we're doing here. Good, and backwards. Excellent. All right, back and forth across the body here. Good. And then up and down. Nice. All right, taking your feet twice as wide as your shoulders. We're going to go over the top, side to side, stretching your low back and obliques. Very nice. Twist, twist, twist. Good. Twist side to side. Bring my fingertips to one wall, then the other. Getting a good stretch. Good warm up. Ready to go. Legs straight, stretch on low, side to side. Whew, feeling those workouts from the other day. Legs are tight. Good. From their hands on the floor, hips side to side. Going one way, then the other. Good. Straightening that one leg, getting that little bit of stretch there in your hamstring before you go to the other side. Whew. All right. Very good. So from here, our warm-up skill today, we're working a block and counterattack drill, okay? Block and counterattack. So block and counterattack means that I do a block, you know what that is, but I immediately attack, okay? So we're going to kind of mix that with a little bit of footwork and have some fun, okay? So we're going to pretend someone's coming at us with punches, bunches of punches is what I call it. So what we're going to do is we're going to step together, step back together and forward, okay? Very simple, let's start there, then we're gonna add the block, then we'll add the counterattack. So ready, hands up, step together back, together forward, together back, together forward. All right, so my feet touch both times, nice and light on my feet, most of my weight still in that back leg, even when I go forward and backward. Good, let's switch sides, other side, and go for it. Shuffle forward, shuffle back, good, together back. So again, making sure my feet touch as we go. Good, that's it, three, two, one. All right, let's add the blocks. So here's what's happening. When I go backwards, it's because bunches of punches are coming at me, okay? So I'm sitting backwards, bunches of punches. So I'm gonna block, okay? So I'm here, one, two, okay? So my two steps, I'm gonna block one, two. Now, going forward, okay, we're gonna imagine that our partner is further away from us, and so as we come forward, they sidekick at us. Very easy thing. I like to do this all the time. I'll stay back. I'll make my partner come to me, and then I'll sidekick. So as I come forward, I'm going to step together, low block as I come forward. So two outside blocks, one low block. All right? Let's do it left side. Ready? Go for it. One, two outside blocks together, one low block. Two outside blocks together now, one low block. Good. At your own pace. Good. One, two. Going backwards, forwards. Good. A few more seconds. Oh, I forgot my blocks. <laughs> forgot my own drill. Good. And then switch. All right, other side, stay with me. So we're gonna go backwards. One, pull it back. Two, coming forward. One, bring it down. Two, bring it back up. One, two, bring it forward. That low block is at the end. Good, and go for it. One, two, together now, low block. Outside, outside, together now, low block. Good, nice and fancy foot. Whoops, I'm doing the wrong block. Nice fancy footwork here. Together now, together now, together now, together now, and time. Let's add something, okay? So again, I say this a lot. If they're close enough to hit me with their punches, I'm close enough to hit them. But a punch, being a straight line motion, isn't gonna stop them as easily as a back fist would, okay? And I'd probably move with this around, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So as I go back, I'm gonna block, block, back fist. I can take as many steps as I need. One, two, three, okay? So coming together, boom, together, back. All right, now as I come forward, I'm gonna come forward, as I do, again, they surprise me with a front kick, or side kick rather, so I low block and I'm gonna front kick at them. Okay, the idea is, as they side kick at me, I low block and I open them up and I throw my front kick to their belly, okay? So, let's go slow. I know this is a lot, especially if you're a wider yellow belt, uh, but we can get this. So ready, we're going back. One, 
two, back fist. Forward, one, two, low block, front kick. Woohoo, let's do it, ready? And block, block, back fist, shuffle step, low block, front kick. Block, block, back fist, shuffle step, low block, front kick. Good, you got it? One, two, three, one, two, three, good. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's switch it up other side. I know, just when we got it down perfect. Here we go, going backwards. One, again, two, back fist, together, out, low block, front kick. One more time, together. Block, block, back fist, together, low block, easy step out, front kick. Let's do it, ready, go. Block, block, back fist, together, out, low block, front kick. Nice and smooth, you don't want to go fast here. Good, just smooth what we're looking for. One, two, three, one, two, three, good. One, two, three, one, two, three, good. One more time. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Whew, all right. Great warm up, hope your legs are going. I'm already getting the sweats happening here, okay? So let's go ahead and transition to the floor for our stretching routine, good job. All right, let's go ahead and stretch. So I haven't seen your feet, seated ankle stretch. So I'm stretching out the tops of my feet, uh, a little bit of ankle, a little bit of shin, a little bit of quadricep stretch here. Plus it just feels good after uh, doing that warm up, right? All right, good. From here, roll your toes back, seated toe stretch. I'm on the ball of my feet now. My toes are actually being pulled back, training my toes to pull back for front kicks and round kicks, all right? So again, stretching those toes out on this stretch. Then we're gonna go to our stomachs for cobra. So hips down and shoulders up nice and high. So you can work your shoulders a little bit side to side to get into that. You can also lift your legs off the floor and just be on your feet and hands. Either way, either way, to get a good stretch here, okay? Good, drop down for the back bow. Arms up, legs up, heads up. This is more of a stabilization stretch. So again, I'm not really stretching. I'm just stabilizing my back muscles here as I get my stretch going. Good, then from there we'll go cat back, head down, shoulders up nice and high. I did those a little backwards, that's okay. Good. All right, from there we're gonna roll around, have a seat. So we're gonna just go straight into our stretches, legs straight, feet together. We're gonna lean forward, grab those toes best you can. Hold that for 10 seconds. Ready, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, get your head down a little bit lower. Six, five, four, three, a little bit lower, two, one. Leave one leg in front of you, take the other one, wrap it around behind you, lean for that stretch, reach in, head down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch other side. All right, good, hold that tight, good. Good stretch here. Again, you see my knees are away from each other. That's important for this stretch. All right, so again, reaching out. Grab that foot. Ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Take your right foot. Cross it over. Spinal twist around to the right. So whatever knee is up, that's the direction I'm turning with the opposite hand helping me to get that rotation. Good. All right, let's switch it. Other side. Good twist here. All right, all right. And then we're gonna lay back, pull one in your chest, other leg straight, switching legs every five or six seconds. Good, good stretch here, pull that knee in. Switch that, pull that knee in. Good, get one more. All right, good, and so, yep, legs in a V. So from here, we're gonna stretch side to side. So we're gonna hands behind your head, side to side, 10 times, ready, go for it. That's one, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, and 10, sir. All right, legs out a little bit wider, stretching down in the middle, lean your shoulder forward, actually angle your hip down if you can, and then reach out both hands here or here to get a good stretch down the middle. Go a little bit lower if you can, hold that stretch. Should I bring your head further away from yourself? There you go. A little bit lower. All right, last one's butterfly stretch. Bottoms of your feet together. Move your knees up and down like butterfly wings, or if you want to push them straight down to the mat, you can do that also. Good, good, good. All right, let's go ahead and hop up and get ready for the next part of class. All right, gang, let's work on some sparring. So if you're an orange belt and above at testing, you're going to spar your regular uh, number of matches that you're going to have to regularly spar if it was a regular testing. You're just gonna do so on the Wave Masters, okay? So you're gonna do them, your sparring match on those. So what we wanna see is hands up, good combinations that are rank appropriate. What that means is black belts aren't just doing front kicks and punches, okay? We wanna see some variety, all right? And we wanna see good control. What that means is with good control is you're not hitting the bag. 
you're touching with control as if that was a person that you're sparring with, okay? So we're gonna work on some sparring stuff. If you're a white or yellow belt, I'll show you exactly what you're gonna do because you're working your sparring skills that you got striped two for, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set my timer for orange belts and above to shadow box. You're gonna shadow spar the whole time until I say stop, okay? White and yellow belts, while they're doing that, I'll take you through your first and then your second, uh, and then for fusion impact, your third sparring combination, okay? So from here, reset my timer. And if you're orange button above, freestyle sparring, ready, go. All right, good. So from here, if you're a white or yellow belt, favorite leg in front, hands up and guard. What you would do is you'd have your partner across from you usually, and you would say the words punch attack. When you say punch attack, keep going orange belts and above. When you say punch attack, they punch towards your nose. You're gonna take your front arm outside block, front kick, punch, punch, and then you're done if you're a warrior kid, but if you're in fifth grade or higher, you have a back leg round kick also. So again, let's review, hands are up. I say punch attack, they punch, Front arm blocks, front leg kicks, punch, punch. And then if I'm a fusion or impact, so that means I'm fifth grade or higher, I'm going to take my back leg over and roundhouse kick or round kick, okay? So front kick, punch, punch. Add the round kick for purple, nope, for fusion impact students. The rest of you guys, you're shadow boxing good, throwing your combinations, you're blocking, moving, kicking, punching. White and yellow belts, hands up, block, front kick, punch, punch. Or fusion impact, throw that back leg round kick. You have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, time. So that's number one. If you need to pause and repractice that white and yellow belts, please do so. So again, your hands are up on yellow, block, front kick, punch, punch, back leg, round kick for fusion impact. Now, let's go on to number two. Number two, I'm gonna say kick attack. So white or orange belts above, get ready. Okay, you can hold your breath or take, <laughs> don't hold your breath. Take a couple of good breaths and get ready. All right, orange belts above. Go for it. Freestyle round number two. White and yellow belts. Hands are up. This time I say kick attack. So I say kick attack. The kick comes into my rib cage. So my front arm is going to low block, which would deflect them sideways. I pick up my front leg. Round kick one, round kick two, and back fist. Okay. So you guys say kick attack. I'm going to low block. Double round, back fist. Doesn't matter what side you do, but you're doing everything on that side the block, the kicks, and the back fist. All right. Go ahead and practice that while the orange belts are above. You guys keep on going. Hands up. Throw some jump kicks, so a spin kick every once in a while. Remember, you're sparring an invisible partner right now, but you're not being slack. You're not kicking low. Hands up the whole time. Block, hands back up. Good. And white and yellow belts, you're going low block. Double round, back fist. Good. Keep going for five. Everybody's got four. We've got three, two, one. Time. All right. Very good. Very good job. So now from here, working on uh, your sparring, okay? If you're an orange button above, what you wanna make sure of is two things for sure. Your hands are always up unless you're punching or blocking, and then they come right back to here. And the second thing that you wanna do is start your combinations with your front leg. So don't start your combinations with your back leg, start your combos with your front leg, okay? Very, very, very important that we do that because if I kick with my back leg from here, you can see me coming a mile away but my front leg is quicker because it's closer to my partner. So make sure you're doing those things uh, when you test and when you spar in general. Great job, let's go ahead and roll on to the next part of class. All right, again, for this drill, you're gonna need a chair, so if you need to pause the video to grab that, uh, awesome, if you already had it from one of the last drills, that's awesome too. Okay, so we're gonna start off, the way we start off with several of these is working on some chair squats. So chair squats, again, I'm gonna go down to my rear touches and then come right back up. All right, we're gonna start with 10 chair squats. So hands in guard and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now from here, we're going to work on our roundhouse kick. So again, if you have a low back chair like this, that'd be good. If it's too high to hold, you wanna grab something else you can hold on to for this drill. All right, but what we're doing, four count roundhouse. So I'm gonna go kind of at an angle a little bit here, just so you can see better. So from here, actually, you may be better if I point straight at you. So from here, I'm holding the chair here for balance, okay? When I count one, we're gonna bring this knee up and hold our foot behind our back, okay? This is probably the hardest point to get to. You can see my knee pointed right at you. So my knee should not be here, it should be here. Two, I'm gonna kick, three, pull back, and then four, set back down. This is a tough one, do your very best. If you're struggling, you can lift up here and then point your knee that way. I just think it's easier to lift your knee and then grab your foot, okay? So ready, and one, hold it up here. Good, two, kick it out. Three, bring it back and hold. Four, set down. What a lot of people do when they do this kick is they kick and then they kind of drop it. Well, that's not good if I wanna do more than one kick, right? So this drill is 
crazy good for this. Ready? One, hold your leg. Two, execute it out. Three, bring it back. Then four, set down. Good. A couple more. Ready? One, two, three, four, two more. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. All right. Now we're going to pick that leg up into first position, and we're going to execute five roundhouse kicks from there. So ready? Hold on to the chair for balance. One. Now we're going to execute five round kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Other side. Here we go. So again, that first position is nice and tight here. Okay, my knee is pointing towards you. Your knee is pointing towards me. Kick out two, three, grab a hold again, and four, set down. Here we go. Ready? Four more. One. Whoops, where did my knee go? One, two, three, and four. Good. Ready? And one, two, three, four. These are tough. One, two, three, four. I believe we have one more. One, two, three, and four. Just like the other side, we're going to go to first position, and then we're going to execute five roundhouse kicks. Here we go. And one. Hold it. Get your balance. And five round kicks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Whoo! Feeling the burn. Here we go. Flip that chair around. Now, from here, what we're going to work is I'm going to sit, touch, lift round kick one round kick two what i want to be careful of is i don't bring my foot back hitting the chair remember when i chamber my knee comes up then i tuck and then i throw the kick okay so if you need to step out a bit once you stand up all right we're gonna get five of these ready so squat in lift one two that's one touch stand one two that's two squat stand one two that's three squat stand one two that's four squat stand one and two again with these kicks i'm not going very high at all on purpose okay but if you want to kick higher you can when you try try these more importantly we want to kick correctly with that knee pointed straight at your target all right good job let's go on to the next drill all right so with testing coming up it's more important than ever that if you have questions on your form to watch this video very slowly now if you already know your form uh, you can watch this a little bit, but if you know your form and you don't need any help with it, what I want you to do is pause this video or just let it play out in the background. I want you to practice your form as if this is testing, okay? And the three things you can do if you're doing your form without my help, the three things you can do is cross your arms a little bit tighter, get into a little bit better of a stance, and yell on the moves where your yells are, okay? Don't be shy. So do those three things. You're practicing on your own. If you're practicing with me, we're going to go kind of slow through section one and section two, a little bit faster through section three. So if you need help on th section three, make sure that you uh, pause, rewind, what you need to do, okay? So face front, you're going to face your TV. Can I bow? Left leg steps out. Commas are up but not crossed, okay? Left leg is going to step out. So my left foot picks up, steps out, elbows drive down. Then I'm going to go right hand attack, left hand attack. Now that left hand is out. I'm going to hug it on top, turn my toes to the corner. Notice I didn't step. I just face my left foot, low block. After my low block, my hands come up, skip with the right, kick with the left. So I'm going to skip, front kick. Then I'm going to hug. And then when I land my left foot, I'm going to do a chop. It comes from the top, across. Then my right arm is going to punch. From here, again, I turn my toes. Now my right arm hugs on top as I turn my toes to the right corner low block right leg is going to do my skipping kick so my hands come up skip front kick hug land with the chop then punch all right if you're in the warrior kids class and you're green belt or below white yellow orange and green that's the end of your form if you're a blue belt and above we also have section two again i'm going to go through this slowly so if you need to back up and do section one again please do let's go through section two slow left hand points left foot goes behind me right arm goes high hug low block number one then I step back again, left, high, hug, low block number two. From here, my left foot, my front one, goes from a little back stance over to a front stance, back arm punch. Now from here, if you're a black belt, you can do a two-step run jump, side kick with your right leg, or you can do what we're gonna do, which is back leg, front kick, land, skip front kick. Then if you're a brown button above, you have a jump front kick with the same leg here. We land, sitting stance, ayah, low block, okay? So again, towards your camera or not towards the camera towards your screen you're watching me you've got that low block happening okay so that's the end of section two 
Section three, okay, if you are a brown belt and above in the fusion class, you have section three. If you're in the uh, warriors, nope, I'm sorry, fusion impact, if you're a blue belt and above, warrior kids if you're brown belt and above, okay? So section three, I turn away. Left leg does a hop side kick for fusion who are purple and blue. Hop hook for brown and red. Hop hook kick, round kick for black belts, okay? So I go away from my screen, hop side or hook or hook round. Then I chop. Elbow strike going away from the TV. Now turn look at your TV. Right leg does the same combo. Hop side, hop hook, hop hook round, then right arm chop, left elbow. If you're a black belt, you then take your front leg from front all the way around behind you, back arm. Looks like a knife hand, hooking block, and punch one, ayah, two, back to ready position, and done. So if you need extra help on that rewind, pause, whatever you need to do to get that extra help. If you still need help on top of that, message us so we can set up a free private lesson. Good job. Let's move on. All right, now let's work on some board breaking techniques, okay? We're going to work on two different kicks and then two different hand techniques. So as far as kicks go, the most popular kick to do in board breaking is a front kick, all right? Uh, we're not going to do that one, okay? We do a lot of front kicks. You know what a front kick is. We're not going to do that one today. Um, and so as we do the front kick, one thing I, I do want to specify, though, is very important when it comes to board breaking that I lift my knee, I lunge forward forward I kick as I come forward okay so as far as board breaking goes if you have a chance to break in class soon uh, what I want you to remember is you should never kick and then land behind you that means your power is going forward and then backward okay if I kick whether I break the board or not I should always go forward because I'm kicking as I fall forward okay those are the notes on the front kick we're not even doing that kick right now all right my favorite board breaking technique the strongest one that I believe that we do one of the strongest ones is a step behind side kick okay now what I've talked about before is that a lot of people do a step behind round kick on accident they're trying they think they're doing a side kick but they're actually doing a, a round kick because the way that their knee comes up okay so I'm gonna face you and you can face me and we're gonna get on like we're running a big fat horse this direction okay so we're riding a big fat horse this way okay the leg that's furthest away from me okay the first way from the screen you're gonna step together with or step behind this other foot then this other knee it lifts up okay to what I call first position okay so I'm gonna step behind I lift my knee to looks like a front kick going that way but then I go to second position which is turning it sideways then I kick and pull back and sit down so the important part of this is I step and I lift my knee up almost like I'm stepping over something like that okay so let's practice this ready so here back leg steps behind front leg lifts up side kick falling forward all right I'm gonna do one more with you I'm here step side kick. Ready? step boom side kick then he comes up and man when you hit with the heel it really can break some boards. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice four more of those, okay? I'll do one or two with you. Ready here? On your own. Go for it. Step, side kick, step, lift, sideways kick. It's called side kick is when I'm done. My foot is all the way sideways. Good. Go ahead and get all four of those three. You have two more. Get in position. One more step behind side kick. Let's go to the other side, okay? Whenever you're ready. So other side is here. Step behind, side kick. So I'm here. I step lift my knee up and over side kick and then land making sure to push and pull that foot back okay all right i want you to do five of those on this side so again we're here step lift side kick how high it is doesn't matter but i want to make sure you're hitting with that heel as it was a target okay go ahead and get all five you should have about four more good step behind side three more good back step behind side two more you may be already done because some of you guys are really fast and time all right so uh, step on side kick is, is one of the strongest kicks if you do it right, okay? And the best way to see if you're doing it right is to hit your, the wave master next time you're in and see if your heel hits, okay? If you can see, you might need to get closer to the screen. See how my heel is on the floor but my toes aren't? When I do a side kick, that's the motion that I want. I want my knee to drive down until my heel hits the board or the target. That's how you know you have a good side kick. Now, next kick, my other favorite one is an axe kick. Okay, axe kicks. So if you ever chopped wood or seen chop, wood be chopped, you don't take the axe straight over your head. And the reason is it's heavy and it could drag you backwards and make you fall down. Okay, what you do with an axe, and don't try this at home, is you take the axe, you swing it half circle up, and then it chops straight down. So that's what our leg does. So take the leg you want to kick with and you're going to take it towards your opposite shoulder. So I'm going to use this leg. So it's behind me. Okay, put it behind you. I'm going to swing it towards my other foot up in the air. When it gets halfway, I'm going to drop it down. So it goes up and then it goes down. All right, it goes up and then it goes down, okay? So ready on your own, your favorite leg goes towards your other foot up, 
and then down. And when I hit with this one, I'm pulling my toes back, and I'm hitting with, if I was wearing a shoe, it would be the back of my shoe, okay? All right, go ahead and get a couple of those, and go for it. Lift, axe kick, and back. Here's the board right here. Lift, boom, axe kick. The higher it gets, remember, it's going to drop faster and harder and be more powerful. Good, get three more. Good. In position, get two more. Excellent. Got time for one more. Three, two, one. Axe kick of doom. All right, here we go. Moving on here. Uh, hand techniques. Okay, so two hand techniques we're going to work on. Uh, one is called a, a, a elbow strike, a standard elbow strike, and one is called a reverse elbow strike. Okay, both of them, the board is side to side like this, and I'm hitting going forward with one, backwards with the other. So I'm going to get closer so you can see. So from here, I get in position. Whatever arm I want to break the board with goes behind me. The other hand goes in front of me like this or this. I like to have my hand open on this one. I don't know why. So from here, I have this hand has a job and this arm has a job. So let's talk about those first. As this arm swings, this hand comes back to my belt. What that does is it makes my shoulders do this twisting motion, okay? If I just use this, my shoulders don't twist. I don't have as much what? I don't have as much power. So I want to get that twisting motion as I do this, okay? Now, the next thing is my legs, all right? My legs do this. My front foot steps like it's stepping over something, and then I do the move, okay? If you ever watch a baseball pitcher, they lift that leg, and then when they land, they throw the ball to generate more power, okay? So my front leg lifts up, over, elbow strike. My other thing comes back to my belt. So ready? Up. Over, elbow strike, good. Go ahead and get five more of those on your own, ready, go. Again, front leg lifts, lunge, elbow strike, good. Get time for four more, good. Lift, lunge, elbow, time for three more. Good, lift, lunge, elbow, don't go fast. Do it strong, don't do it fast. Good, time for one more, and time. All right, my other favorite is reverse elbow. Also extremely useful in self-defense. If somebody comes up behind me and grabs and their head is here, I can do this reverse elbow to protect myself. On a board, it looks like I'm pulling a lever really hard, okay? So watch, I go from here, pretend the board is right here. I put, touch the board, I bring my hand away like a punch and I sway forward, I sway back and I drive it through. Sway forward, sway back, drive it through. There's no twisting of the hand. I don't pull this hand back to my belt this time because it would go the other way, but I would still twist my shoulders into it that direction though. So I'm here, touching the board, away, looks like a punch, rock back and hit it. Good, you have time for five more of those, go for it. Rock, one, rock forward, two, rock forward, three, rock forward, four, one more, rock forward and five. Awesome job. So these are four board breaking techniques that you can use at testing when it's time for break boards. All right, so for our self-defense this cycle, we got pushed back, we fell down, and we come back up. And there's two different versions of this for this cycle. The first version is as I come up, as I fall back, rather, I see them getting very close to me. So I don't have time to roll to my side, which is what I prefer to do. Rolling to my side gives me a little more protection. But as I fall back, I see they're above me. So as I come up, I'm loading up one foot opposite hand on the floor. So I'm loading my weight up on those two. I take my free leg, I lift, boom, and kick as my hand comes up to block, okay? It can be the other side also. So if I plant one foot, I plant the opposite hand, okay? My other hand is up to block just in case. I lift my knee, boom, front kick, and down. So that's part one, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to practice part one for the next 20 seconds or so, okay? Ready, set, and go for it. So you're going to roll back, come up, plant one foot, opposite hand, lift your hips up, boom, front kick, and down. Do you have to lift your hips? Not really, but this just isn't going to be as powerful as if I lift my hip into it, okay? Good. Do the other side. So come up, plant one foot opposite hand, boom, kick. Good. So keep on going. Get a couple more. Section number one. Good. Sit up. Crab crawl front kick is what we're calling it. The other hand is up to guard. Again, I'll do it one more time with you. Back. Plant one hand opposite foot. This hand's up to block. Lift my hip. Boom. Front kick. And done. Good. Get a couple more. Keep going. I know it can wear you out if you're, if you're going strong, but do your best still to build this technique up. I hope you never need to use it, but if you do, having it strong is what you want, okay? Good. We have five, four, three, two, one, time. Now, what we're going to do is we roll to the side. Now, we see we have a little bit of space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my side. I'm going to turn so you can see me. So right now, my leg, my bottom leg is on the floor, bent. My top leg is bent like this, and my elbow and my forearm are on the mat. Now, 
what you also should know is that my leg that's on the floor is barely on the floor, okay? Because if I need to turn, I need to be able to pivot on my hip. So my hip is like a hinge, like the middle of a clock, how it can stay there, but it turns, right? So I turn, all right? So that's important. Now from here, I'm gonna work my side kick. So we talked this cycle about side kick, my knee coming towards my face, out to the target. Face, out to the target. So pick a leg, any leg, and I'll tell you when to stop. Ready, go for it. So lift, side kick back. Get my hands out to block, side kick back. Good, it can go slow, you can go fast if you want. Okay, bottom line, that knee pushes forward, pulls back. You have five, four, three, good, keep it up, two, one. Now we're gonna roll to the other side, all right? So again, I've got my forearm and my elbow. My other leg is on the floor, but not really on the floor so I can pivot, right? And my top leg is doing my side kicks this time. All right, ready, and go for it. Side kick, pull back, side kick, pull back, side kick, pull back. Again, you can go fast, you can go slow, but that knee has to go from here, way over here, and has to come back to here. If my knee is staying here in front of me, what kick am I doing? That's more of a round kick. We don't want to do that, okay? So keep going good. Side kicks front of 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. You have five, four, three. Don't stop. Two, one. Time. Nice job. Let's move on to the next part of class. But keep in mind, that's how you earn your stripe for self-defense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great job in class today. Make sure, again, if you're doing the in-person classes to get in, get those stripes, get ready for testing. If you're not doing in-person classes, remember we are offering them up to two days a week right now at either location. So try to get in there. It's the cleanest place in town. You want to get your stripes. Uh, if you're worried about being around a bunch of people, you can always call and get a private lesson with one-on-one -on -one with an instructor, socially distanced, so they can go over your testing information with you and make sure that you're going to be ready to test, okay? Awesome job. We can't wait to see you back on the mat and back online.